moon Let me play among the stars Let me see Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my study routine. This video is a collab with Miss Hannah Ashton here on YouTube. I love her. If you guys like my videos, you will love hers. Hers are like more productive, more put together, just like better. They're really good. Check them out. I'll have it linked down below. But she's doing a video all about how to set up your semester. And then I'm going to be doing a video kind of of my study routine. I've done this in the past. But I have a few things that have changed and just some tips and things that I like to do. We're both college students. I go to college in LA. I have a lot of college in my life vlogs and stuff up as well if you guys want to check that out. I'm sorry it's raining outside, but that's like the perfect time to have a study afternoon is in the rain. It's amazing. So if you guys are new here and you guys like this video, please subscribe. You guys can check out all of my stuff linked down below. I have a podcast as well. So does Hannah. I've actually been on her, so I will link that episode down below. My podcast, if you guys like these videos, you'll like the podcast. I'll have a link down below. So anyways, we're going to get into the video. Um, comment down below what year you guys are in school or if you're in school at all. I am a spring, what am I? No, this is the spring of my junior year. I just like don't even know, you know, what year I am. That's great. So anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So the first thing is that I find my place that I like to study. I have this whole office and I love my office and sometimes I will do homework in here like with my friends, but I really like to just keep this as like a creative space. So I don't really love doing schoolwork in here that much. So I go over to my breakfast nook a lot of the time. This isn't like my kitchen, it's my breakfast nook and that's where I get a lot of my schoolwork done that I've been doing lately. Do not do not, do not do your homework in your bed. If you live in a dorm or something, go to the library, go to a coffee shop, get out of like working from your room. It's really bad. Um, it's not the best thing ever and I get so much done when I'm not in my room. So, so something that absolutely has to happen for me is to make some coffee and a snack just so I'm like less likely to be like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry. Even if I'm not hungry, I'll just like have a snack ready because it's another way to procrastinate. So I just get that all of the equation at the beginning. So as you guys can see, I have my coffee ready. My current favorite steady snack right now is just some hummus and some carrots. Okay, so I'm a person who's really, really big on environments, and environments just affect me so much. So I set this up, I have my iPad Pro, I use this a lot for school, a lot for just like my calendar, you guys will see, um, textbooks, stuff like that, my snacks, my laptop, books that I might need, and then a candle. I always still have a candle lit, because candles just put me in a really good mood. I need the space to be clean and just ready to go, and this is the space for me. Okay, so the last thing I will do is put on a playlist. I have this playlist on Spotify called 4 p.m. in my office. It's what I play in my office, but it's really what I play. Like, it's just pretty much all day, every day, but it's a jazz playlist, which is like my favorite playlist to like be productive to. It just puts me in a good mood, and it doesn't distract me, so I will link that down below for you guys. Obviously, I can't really play it because I'm making a video, but that is the playlist that I always play. The playlist is right here. 4 p.m. in my office, my Spotify is just Kenzie Piper. But I have all these songs, it's just the best playlist ever. Okay, so I normally have this playlist going, have my snacks, my coffee, my candle, everything is just ready for me now. Another thing I always do is I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. My phone's pretty much always on Do Not Disturb, but it's like perfect here. Something that is so vital for me to do personally, and I feel like for everyone basically, is to stay ahead of your schedule. I recently got an iPad Pro. It is my favorite thing that I've literally ever owned. For the past three years, I've used a passion planner. On my Google Calendar, I have a bunch of this stuff, and then on my laptop, I have a bunch of deadlines, and I will schedule in, like, tonight I'm writing a paper. Like, I schedule in when I do things, so when I get my syllabus at the beginning of the semester, I put everything in my calendar, and then I schedule when I'm going to do it as the dates get closer. So that way, like if someone asks, like, oh, do you want to go on this trip? Or, oh, do you want to do this then? Or whatever. I can look and I can see how much of like a big workload or a small workload I have around then and then schedule accordingly. So that is huge. I think staying ahead and staying on top, not even just on top of your schedule, like literally ahead of it and doing all the work that you can do early. Like I am not a procrastinator. I literally will do an assignment like two weeks early if I have like free time. 
If I have free time, basically I just use that to get ahead because it makes my life so much easier and way less stressful and it's so much better. And then if I want to go like see a friend or hang out with a friend or whatever, I have that freedom to be able to do that instead of being like, oh, I have to write a paper. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to show you guys the websites that have changed my life for, this sounds like it's a deal, it's not. <laughs> for school, you, I love, love, love Quizlet. I learn through flashcards. Making flashcards is the best thing ever and then being able to study on them. There's also study on them, study with them. I need to stay in school. Um, it's so helpful, I learn by doing this and then there's an app and you can just do it on the go. Like if you're in an Uber, you're like wherever at the doctor's office, you can just go through these. Literally Quizlet has saved my life in every AP class I took in high school. So much in college. Oh my gosh, I literally use them all the time. I have like multiple accounts because I forget passwords and stuff. So like I have even more than these, but it's just super, super, super helpful. Another website that I highly recommend is Mathway. I think it's like a $20 subscription a month, but I'm in stats right now and it's so hard for me to like, it just sucks, it's so hard. Mathway will help you and like it's basically an online tutor. Like you can, they can do any math problem for you, but it like explains how you, how you did it and like it actually teaches you how to do it. It doesn't just like do it for you. So that way you can do it yourself, but it's helped me so much because if I don't get it from like my online class or like whatever I'm in, I get it on Mathway. So I really have been loving Mathway. It's worth it. I know that's an expensive subscription. Um, definitely just like split it with some friends. It's like saved my life. Okay, so I don't take class or I don't take notes in class, but if I did, I would use Good Notes. So I use Good Notes for like everything else in my life, but if you guys are looking for something that will like help you with notes in class, definitely use the Good Notes app. That's my favorite um, app on my iPad Pro. I use it for so many other things. Um, but anyways, I have my textbooks digitally, which is awesome because it saves my life. One, it's cheaper. What? I don't want to sign in again. So, now that I'm signed in again, this is my textbook. You rent them, you don't have to carry them, they're so much easier. So I'm in a humanities class, actually pray for me, it actually sucks. But it's super helpful and it's really nice because if you're looking for something, you can just search it right there. It makes things so much easier. So I will just have like my textbook right here and I'm able to type on my textbook basically and then this right here to like write my papers and stuff because it helps me so freaking much. So I, I've been loving having my textbooks digitally. Not even just on my laptop, but on my iPad Pro. It's made such a huge difference for me. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a study routine. You guys love my routine videos, so let me know if you guys want anything else. This is just how I study, what I do, what really helps me in college, high school, whatever it is. Again, don't forget to check out Hannah's video. It'll be linked down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye!